Hello YouTube, uh, wanting to do something today on the Raspberry Pi. Um, for those of you that don't know what the Raspberry Pi is, I, well, that could be why you're looking at this video. Um, but just do a Google search on it, check it out. It's a about a credit card size, a little bit bigger than a credit card, I'd say. Um, but it's a computer, essentially, that plugs into any TV that you may have. It's got an HDMI out, it's got a, it's got a standard... Um, RCA out um, with an audio jack. It's got two USB um, ports. Um, it's also got an Ethernet connection and an SD card. Um, the SD card is where the operating system basically that, that functions as the hard drive. Um, this is kind of the problem that I'm having with it. Is It's not really a problem. It's just the access speeds on an SD card are extremely slow. They're about, you get about 20 megs per second and Personally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to install it onto a uh, install the operating system onto a hard drive that has a much faster data access rate. Um, as far as I can tell, nobody's really done a video on on YouTube um, regarding uh, in the installation of the operating system on a hard drive, an external USB hard drive. Um, I know it's been done for Raspbian, but I don't believe I've seen anything for Arch Linux. So I played around with it and I got it working. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. For, for the experts, or those of you who are more advanced and are already familiar with the, with the Pi, I will go ahead and, and kind of tell you how to do it. Um, it's not really that difficult. What you're going to do is you're going to install, and for everyone else, this kind of serves as a summary of what we're going to be doing. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to walk, walk you through the entire process. But for those of you who are more advanced and kind of know what you're doing already, um, all you have to do is you have to copy your image file, the same file that you will put on your, your SD card. You want to copy it directly over to your, excuse me, your hard drive as well. Um, but you want to set it up the exact same way, so make sure that your hard drive is, is blank because it is going to set the partitions, but you use the DD command the same way onto the, onto your external hard drive. Um, once you've got that image burned onto the SD card and the hard drive, you'll go into the SD card and you'll go into the boot partition. Okay? And that will be at, and you're going to change the command line.txt file to point to your um, hard drive. And essentially, that is really pretty much all you need to do. Then you, then you can also go in and you can change your um, FSTAB file, um, of course, to auto mount. Um, everything that you need. One thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that um, in your FSTAB file on your hard drive, which should be at Etsy FSTAB, right? Um, you want to make sure that the boot, the slash boot um, partition is still pointed at the SD card. Okay, don't change that. Because if you change that, it won't boot. The, the, the Raspberry Pi needs to be able to boot off of the SD card. It will not boot off the USB. So that partition is what needs to be on there. It's like it's like your 60 megabyte partition or whatever it'll pan out to be. Um, that is essentially all you really need to do. You can you can you know once once you point it over to your hard drive and uh, you set it to do that restart and you'll see that it will boot right off the hard drive. Okay, or it'll boot the it'll run the operating system off the hard drive and you'll get much faster access rates. It'll speed up your Pi considerably. At least it, at least that's the way it seems to me. Um, it's, it's helped out a lot. Yeah, I've, I've done it already once, um, and now I'm going, I've, I've wiped everything down so that I can make the videos on how to do that. Um, okay, that was for the experts, or for the, the more advanced users. Now, for my fellow novices, um, I'm going to show you pretty much step-by-step -step how to do this. And this video is going to be, well, let's get you set up with what you need. So let's let's open up a uh, web browser, and you're going to want to go here. You're going to want to go to uh, raspberrypi.org slash downloads. This is where you're going to download the image file, um, which is basically, it's the file that has all the information that you're going to need to copy over to an SD card in order to boot up your Raspberry Pi. And chances are you've probably already done this, and if you don't have a Pi, then you're probably um, looking to do that, and this, and this is the process. Um, 
as I said, we are going to be working with Arch Linux. They do have um, an image for the Raspberry Pi, and this is, this is where you're going to get it. Um, here's the image. If you can torrent, try to do that. Um, last time I tried to torrent um, this file, it didn't seem like there was a lot of cedars, so it was extremely slow. Um, you may just want to go ahead and download it directly from uh, this image link here. Um, if you want to go to the URL, um, the actual page on the Arch Linux site, the link is here, and it takes you to this page. Actually, it takes you to the overview page. Okay, you click on installation, and here it actually gives you the information as far as the installation instructions of how to do it. Um, this is the main um, uh, command that you're going to use to copy it over to your SD card. This can be a little bit, uh, what's the word, confusing, <laughs> you know, if, uh, if you've not done it before. And with DD being such a powerful command, um, I, I would definitely want to, want to show you how to do it um, step by step so that, so that there's no chance of you wrecking your, your existing hard drives and installations because that, that, it's a powerful command if you don't do it right. Um, you can actually mess some things up in a hurry. DD command, like I said, is really powerful. So once you've downloaded, um, and again, it gives you links to download as well um, on, on the Arch Linux site. But once you've downloaded the image file, you'll notice that it comes in a zip format. So what you're also going to need is uh, you're going to need a, uh, let me here let me pull this up. You're also going to need um, a means of uncompressing that file so you can extract the image file out of it. Um, I've already got it installed, but the, the program that you're going to need is called unzip. You know, it's pretty straightforward. So you do a sudo pacman unzip. And that's your command that you're going to use. So if, if you don't have this yet, go ahead and pause the video and get it installed because you will need it. It's not a bad thing to have anyway in case you, you know, you download any other zipped files. This is the program that you're going to use. Now what you're going to find out is I'll do mine as a search. You'll see I already have mine installed because I've done it. But that is the actual name of the program that you need is in zip. Okay, so go ahead and get that done if you don't have it done already. Okay. Now. Once you have that finished uh, and you you unzip it, okay. Um, I'm going to go over here to let me grab this window real quick. Let me pull this over here and I'll show you. This is the the file that you downloaded. Once you unzip it, you're going to get this image, and you'll notice that it ends in IMG. This is the file that we have to, that we will be working with, okay. So in that capacity, once you are set up and you have this file set up, take note of, of the directory that you're in. Like for me, um, mine is home Bahamut. Yeah, home Bahamut, and I made a I made a folder um, called uh, Arch RPI um, for this. Now all these other these other fol folders I created for trying something different. There's actually nothing in them now, but they were mount points essentially. You won't need those. Um, the only one you're really going to need is this image file. Okay? And what I'm also going to include in this video is let's let's go ahead and get make sure that you get your your SD card ready. Okay? So if you have a card reader, um, get the card you're going to use. You're going to need a minimum, I think, that I think that image file is two gigabytes. I've not tried it on a 2 gig card, so I don't know if it'll work or not, but you'll need something bigger than that, 4 gig, 8 gig, you can go as big as you want. My my recommendation, if you're going to do it the way I'm doing it, and installing your operating system onto an external USB hard drive, then use the smallest one you, you got, um, one that you're probably not going to use anywhere else. I'm, I'm going to be using an 8 gig uh, Class 10 SD card. Um, for this installation. Um, so what you'll need to do, and now understand with, with my distribution, um, I run uh, Arch Linux, um, 
with a uh, KDE desktop environment. So in order for me to open a program called Gparted, if you don't have this program, you want this program. The command to get it, if you don't have it, is of course pacman slash s and Gparted. Then you can get that right out of the repositories. So if you don't have it, go ahead and get it because you're going to need it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and if you need to pause the video, do that now. Uh, make sure that you have it installed. Okay. So what I need to do, because I'm in KDE, in order for me to open up Gparted, I have to put in KDE SU. It requires permissions. So if you're running a different desktop environment, you probably can get away with using sudo, or sudo, however you say it. Um, but for me, I have to use KDE SU. So I'm going to open up Gparted, and then I have to put in a password, and if I, it'll open up. Okay, here it is. Um, it'll go ahead and open up your different drives. Now you'll see I have SDA, SDB, SDC. It's extremely important to make sure you have the right one. This is easy enough for me to see because of the file sizes um, or the, the drive sizes. I've got two uh, one and a half terabyte hard drives in my computer, but here's the 7.34 gigabyte. That's my 8 gig SD card. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice that I've already wiped this entire card clean, at least all the partition information. So it's got it's got basically the full amount um, of space that is now listed as unallocated. And this is exactly what we want. Um, other people will tell you to go ahead and you know format it in XT or uh, I'm sorry, X4 format. You don't have to. You really don't. What I do is I, I wipe it completely clean. You know, just get rid of all the the uh, information. You're also going to want to do this with your um, hard drive. So if you're using an external hard drive um, and you've got stuff on it that you want to keep, copy it over to another drive before you do this. Because once you um, once you copy the image file you just downloaded onto your hard drive, um, it, it's going to wipe it out. It's going to create new partitions and basically just put the information on there you're going to have a clone of what's on your SD card so make sure before you do that with your your hard drive or even your your SD card that any information on there you take out okay you copy it over to another hard drive that's not going to be used for this application for what we're doing today okay now now that we're all set up and this is basically what you need to be set up all right um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video so we can keep the videos kind of a little bit shorter. You know, I only get like, what, 15 minutes anyway. So um, on the next video, we're going to start, um, start off by copying that um, image file over to your SD card and also do it on your, uh, your hard drive, okay, because that's the first step. And then the, the video after that, what I plan on doing is we'll go through and we'll make the adjustments on the files um, so that they're pointing in the right place. And I'll even go one step further to prove that the operating system is loading up and running off the hard drive by deleting the partition that has that information off of the, uh, the SD card. So it won't even be there. Um, and that should be proof enough to you know, various people out there that love to pick on people and say that they're you know, not really doing it. Well, I'll prove it to you. Okay. So in any case, um, go ahead and get set up with that. Get your, get your drives cleaned out and get them ready to go. And, uh, we'll, we'll get to it on the next video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.